partner lied about the country she will go for holidays, what should I do? To give you a bit of a background, me and my girlfriend have been together for one and a half years. We have the same job working from home, and all this time, I've been helping her around because she also goes to uni so I've been sitting for at least an hour or more five days a week so that I can help her finish on time, I can understand our job much better so I give her advice as each of us is working from their home. All this time, We've been struggling with a few issues as she is dismissive avoidant and I have tolerated a lot of behaviors and I am constantly working on fixing our relationship as well as helping her overcome her emotional trauma. She has expressed that our relationship is the best one yet for her and I am the only boyfriend that she said she loved. We are currently in a really good place on our relationship. However, when it comes to going on holidays together, I've asked her numerous times for us to go somewhere for Christmas. She kept saying that she isn't feeling that well emotionally and that she is tired to go for holidays and she just needs to rest. We had a fight over this because she cancelled our holidays on the last minute, a week before we made plans to go, but I did let it be and told her that I understand and that we can go at a later date. Thing is, she told me that she will go to the country G, will not name the name of the country for obvious reasons, for a few days to see her grandmother and that she will also take her brother with her so that he can see his friends. I was perfectly fine with that and told her that if she needs anything she can let me know. Today though, I picked up her phone and checked her Instagram messages, I know that this was a bad move but the phone was open and it piqued my curiosity. I found out that she has planned to go to a different country than the one she told me about and was talking with a guy. When I saw the context of the messages, I was at a high stress state. I took a walk for 10 minutes, then I came back, we talked about it. I apologized over checking her phone as this was completely out of character and she apologized over lying to me as well. Thing is that I had trust in her and it was not my intention of doing that, however, my interest was piqued and all I wanted to do was to reaffirm how important she sees our relationship. However, what I discovered was that she was talking to someone and told him that she will visit the country that he is staying at and wanted to go there as she had obligations and wanted her brother to go see the universities there. Below, I will provide the conversation they had, for clarity purposes. Her, I want that hoodie smile. Him, my wife less than three. Him, how long till I see you? Her, I'm arriving on that date in the F, country name removed. Let me know where you will be so that I will come and see you. Him, cool, I'll be on this place. Her, I can't wait X. Him, do you have a place to stay? Her, I've booked a hotel room, my brother is coming. Him, oh okay, you can come and stay with me for one night yes? Her, we will see. Him, no you will, I miss you a lot. Her, heart emoji. Another conversation. Him, if only my wife decided to come home. Her, while I am home hun, you are not coming to visit me. Him, no your home is with me. Her, ly. Him, lym. After telling her what I saw, she told me that she lied about the country she is going because I would be mad that we won't go together. She told me that her brother, since she will have to take him with her was not feeling that comfortable with all three of us staying together which I completely understand. She told me that this is how she talks with some of her friends and that this is how they usually speak together. We concluded that she will be honest from now on on such cases, she admitted that lying to me about her holidays was a mistake and I told her that I look at our relationship seriously, I do see her differently than other women I've been with and that I will be more cautious with us moving forward, as this hurt my trust. I am really not sure how I should react moving forward over this both in our relationship and our relation to my feelings. On the one hand, I do trust her because I don't think she is an unfaithful person. On the other hand, this all seems way too suspicious based on logic. I really do have mixed feelings over this and the entire time we have been together, I have been hurt as she being a dismissive avoidant really puts pressure in the relationship. TLDR My partner lied on where she planned to go for holidays and she has been talking to someone that I don't know in a what looks like a romantic way. Thank you. Update. The more I think about it, the more it reaffirms that she had a relationship with this guy before I met her and she kept it at the entire time we have been together. I told her how I feel over this yet again, and I told her that it's over. She immediately changed her tone being apologetic and showed understanding. She told me that she had a close relationship with this guy out of the three to four years that she knew him. He was a co-worker, was suicidal and that they have been through a lot and she cares for him. She once again expressed her feelings for me, I told her that my trust is lost. She told me that she will change the way she speaks to her friend from now on and that she ain't that girl. The only reason I partly believe what she says is because she hasn't given me any signs of being unfaithful. However, when I go over the tone of their discussion, 
I still keep thinking that this can't just be friendship and I would never allow myself to talk to a girl who is a friend like that when I am in a relationship, most importantly out of respect. I really valued her and gave her all my heart and cared, but because I've done this wholeheartedly and without expecting something in return, she didn't value it. There is a chance that I am being treated in a narcissistic pattern, gaslighting, emotional withdrawals etc., when it comes to how she is treating me as she is a dismissive avoidant. I understand that people here may tell me that my choice should be different, but I decided to stay with her and slowly detach myself from her. I get that opinions are straightforward but please understand that the whole one year and a half, I have been dealing with this relationship that had patterns which made me become hooked with her, emotionally. Hence, why breaking up is so hard for me right now. She sounded apologetic through our work shift yesterday and kept asking me what she needs to do to make up for all that. I told her you think about what you can do to make this right, not me. You created all these issues. Today, she called me and after a few minutes I told her the following. I know how you can at least convince me that he is indeed your friend. Message him something in the context of, my boyfriend will also be joining us, do you think we can get a ticket for him as well? They wanted to go out for a concert. She became mad that I could ask her to do that and her response was. It's ridiculous that you want me to send something like that to my friend, you are jealous, I will feel embarrassed. I told her in a calm manner, in what way does this sound ridiculous, you'll just tell your friend that my boyfriend may also be with us and if there are available tickets. Then she wanted to walk her dog out and close the phone on my face which she has never done before. Update. I told her that we have to break up four times already and she stops me and says how much she loves me, and that she is being honest. I keep asking her to send the guy a message and the response I get is always I want to do this at my own pace. I just put the ultimatum down. She tried to convince me with the following. So us mean nothing to you? I have to go to that trip, I'll lose money if I won't. You could come with us but my brother isn't feeling comfortable. I can go to the concert and send you a video with my friend. I want to prove that he's just a friend with my own actions, I won't send a message. Told her the following. You want us to be together? Prove to me that he's your friend and stay here so that we can work this out. You can go to your trip? Feel free to do so. You won't find me here when you're back. She started crying telling me that she is no use. She told me that she ruins everything she does. She can't work properly without my help, she lied which is something she didn't want to do. That her father was right calling her out for being useless. I felt really sorry for her and I reassured her that all these opinions are just thoughts. I reassured her how important she is to everyone, and how loving she can be. When she cried, she told me I am being honest with you, you have to believe me, I am telling you the truth, can you please help with a question that I have to finish my work. I have to go to class in a bit. I helped her because I didn't like hearing her crying and because there was no help for me today and then crying stopped. Later on yet again, a long conversation due to her counterarguments over everything I was saying. I have to constantly repeat myself over this because the conversation backpedals to our initial discussion. I kept giving her the ultimatum, she kept saying every time are you threatening me? I kept responding no, this is your own choice but I won't be here when you come back. We again went back to the point of just send him a message. She said alright I'll do it twice. But both times, the conversation froze right before she grabbed her phone to send him a message. And a loop of the conversation again I would feel embarrassed, I'll do it at my own pace. Finally, before she left, she kept telling me that she won't send him a message. I told her tell me, what have you done for us, you can't even move your little finger to send a friend of yours a message because you'll feel embarrassed, don't you think feeling a little embarrassed is worth it for our relationship? Tell me a single time there was an action from your end apart from words. If you don't send a message now, we are done. She was speechless and kept delaying it. She told me will you not end it if I do? We can do this in the afternoon together. She finally said, I'll come to you now. Then I hung up. And I think, that she'll use this as an opportunity to test me. It's been an hour and she is still not here. We met up later on the day. The moment I saw her, I also PM'd the guy they were exchanging those messages. I asked him to clarify their relationship. He told me the following. My bad man. I didn't know she was in a relationship, otherwise I wouldn't have spoken like that. She looked after me when I was at a tough spot in my life and I always referred like that to her ever since. There isn't anything romantic between us and I would have done the exact same thing if this was my girlfriend. And don't worry, you won't have to message again now that I know that you are together. I also noticed that he did not message her since and of course message her an update while I was with her. His response felt genuine. Regardless, 
her lie and the inability to take actions thus far for us proves to me that she is no longer worth my time and the sacrifices I made for her. Since this happened I couldn't sleep and I couldn't eat. She will go to the trip she has planned and by all means, she should. I no longer see her the way I used to and I will no longer sacrifice my time or energy for her. This was big slap in my face and from now on, my priorities will shift back to my self-improvement and of course, to my friends and family. It no longer feels like she is the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. I feel betrayed. Let's say that she is indeed telling the truth about her relationship with this guy. I decided to go no contact at least until she returns to focus on other things and I have already made plans to spend time with friends as being alone wouldn't be good for me right now. I reevaluated my priorities.